In this class, we are going to learn how to generate SSH key pairs that is private and public key on our Windows computer with the help of PuttyGen application. I have opened the PuttyGen application over here. In order to open the application, you have to just search for Putty on your Windows computer. You will have this application already installed. I am currently making use of Windows 11 operating system. If you don't find this application, then you can download this from the Putty website. So in my case, this application is already available. So when you launch this application, you will see such kind of screen. So first thing is we need to select the parameters over here. I am keeping the default that is RSA. In our previous class, we had seen how we can generate SSH key pairs from our Linux terminal. We had made use of WSL on our Windows computer. Same will be applicable for Linux machines as well. If you have not watched that video, please check out the video. First thing is we need to select the algorithm. I have selected RSA. We can select any other algorithm as well. And next thing is number of bits. I will make this as 4096. Default will be 2048. As you increase the number of bits, it will increase the security as more number of bits will be available in order to encode and create the keys. Once you populate those details, we need to click on this generate button over here. Once you click on generate, it will take some time. So we'll pause this video for a couple of seconds and we'll resume once our PuttyGen application generates the files for us. So Putty has generated the keys for us. If you see over here, it has having the fingerprint, the key command. If you want to change the command, we can change this as well. As we had seen in our previous class, these commands are used to identify the key uniquely. So if you want, we can change. I'm keeping this default. Next, it is asking for the key phrase. This key phrase is used for private key security. In order to enhance the security of the private key, we can add the passphrase. Also, we can confirm once we have populated the passphrase as well. I'm not populating any passphrase over here. Suppose if you want to connect to any specific cloud services like AWS or Oracle's cloud services, particular resource on that particular platform might require you to have the passphrase for the private key. At that time, you have to populate this. For this demonstration, we are not considering this use case. In order to save the private key and the public key, we need to click on this save private key. First, we are going to save the private key. I am clicking on S. So I will be storing this file in downloads folder. As you see, the extension is ppk format. This .ppk is exclusively for putty private key files. This will be used only for connecting from putty. Here I am naming this as private key. If you want, you can name this with the comment as well. Whatever we have the comment over here, we can add it over here. So it's always a best practice to save the file with the comment name. Click on save. Also, we can save the public key. I will name this as public key. Click on save. Suppose if you want to save the private key in open SSH formats, if your requirement is to generate the private key in open SSH format, then first thing is we can copy this entire text, whatever is visible over here and paste it in a notepad. Just select all and click on copy and paste in a notepad and save. So it will save in the open SSH format. This is the public key. In order to generate this private key, go to conversations and click on export open SSH key. Here it will prompt for, are you sure you have not populated the passphrase? Click on S. Save in the open SSH format. Let me name this as private key open SSH. Click on save. So this will save the file in open SSH format. So in this class, we had seen how we can generate the SSH keys that is private and public key with the help of PuttyGen application from our Windows machine. 